day. <laughs> Mental day. Been doing a lot of videos lately on YouTube and uh, I was just about to get round to do another one um, with Scott's permission to upload the video that he done talking about prepping. Um, so I was just starting to think of um, coming out here doing a video, what to say, and um, he's uploaded a video and um, it's a brilliant tag. Really, it's a fun tag. Uh, which is great and um, lucky for me I was tagged and really humbled Scott <laughs> my brother uh, well I still can't believe it um, the tag was um, Armageddon end of the world sits at the fan proper and um, you got three of three of three the first three is um, three books that you would take with you so one of the books that I'll be taking is this one might be a bit of a surprise to some folk, but um, I've read this a few years now, and I swear by this book. It's fantastic. You can get them so cheap on eBay as well for a couple of quid. The amount of knowledge in there about medicine, because when I when Armageddon comes, there won't be no super drug or drug stores. No, 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 no. So for fixing yourself up with natural um, things that are alive on the planet. It's a definite must. So that's book number one, The Green Pharmacy. Strange choice, but I really, really love this book. This is definitely in my top five of all-time favourite books. <laughs> Strange, but I really like it. It's by um, an author, Michael Tassarin, and it's called Atlantis. Love is to death. It's just impossible to get in um, paperback now. It's all that Kindle stuff. Um, it really is a fascinating read, and I've read it loads of times. And every time, just get a buzz out of like finding out about all sorts of weird and wonderful things, should we say? So it's Atlantis, alien visitation, and genetic manipulation. <sighs> Wicked book. And last but not least, I've got the first edition way back. I was prepping a long time ago. It was this one. The SCS Survival Handbook, and I'll be surprised if um, this book doesn't feature in everyone um, who is tagged in this video. You've got to be crazy to leave this out because the amount of things in here is just insane. It really is. And luckily for me, I was um, privileged to meet and um, only have about a five or ten minute chat with um, Lofty Wiseman, the author. And um, he autographed my book as well at the Bushcraft Show. Totally totally love this book. So that's my three books. And um, the next part of the tag was Free Blades. Free Blades for Armageddon. Um, when I started out doing this YouTube thing, my philosophy was if you did have Free Blades for a bad time, it makes sense for me to have small, medium and large knives. Some people would disagree with that, some people agree with it. It doesn't matter, but to me, I really, really agree with it. So let's start off on the smallest blade. The K-Bar USMC fighting knife. It's not the best bushcraft knife in the world, but I don't think I'll be spending too much time carving spoons in Armageddon. To have something like this on your person is a very desirable item indeed. 1095 carbon steel, it is an absolute pleasure to sharpen. Amazing, amazing knife. And it's been field tested for donkey juice. It's a great, it's a great combat knife. The classic, need I say any more really, the K-Bar. It's my first blade. The second blade is this one by Tops. It's the Steel Eagle 111A. You can do all sorts of things with this knife. And the saw back on there is Devastating. It's too thick. It's, <laughs> it's a great tool. Um, you can do a lot of tasks with this knife. Hence, it's going in the top three. And also, I've got survival kits in there. So it's an all-in-one job. So that is the, um, the Tops Steel Eagle 111A. Had to be done. And um, obviously, moving up a bit, you want something a bit bigger. And it's um, the Glock. No, it's not. It's this badass. 
Yeah, baby. You want something to shop and do some um, jungle clearing. You want something like this, proper steel. Great piece of kit. So yeah, you're gonna want a serious kick-ass blade. Oh yeah, look at the size of that. It's a heft, it's just right here. It flies around in the hand. It's beautiful, beautiful. And the third part of his tech, which is the toughest, was um, three people that you're gonna um, take with you when everything goes shit out. Um, the funny thing is, um, a lot of people's gonna think now that I'm just gonna say this guy because he thought of me. And Scott Wessex Blades, I will, I really would take him. <laughs> we, we get on great, we really do. And um, yeah, I should imagine he'd be the perfect guy. Um, things go bad, we can cheer each other up and the knowledge that um, we can put together. There's not much we couldn't um, you know, get away with really. <laughs> so Scott Wessex Blades is definitely in my team of three. And um, second choice is um, Baby Blue on the Town, for obvious reasons. <laughs> she loves me the bits, what can I say? <laughs> I wouldn't want to disappoint the girl. Yeah, she's beautiful, she's funny. She's um, a lot more to um, Baby Blue than meets the eye. Uh, she's no mug. She knows her stuff outdoors as well, hunting and whatnot. So yeah, she'd be a great asset to the team, definitely. And last but not least, um, this is a tough one. and. We're talking um, Armageddon now, where survival time is survival time. So I'm going to pick my good friend um, Simon Shepherd, who owns Wilderness Leisure, where I'll get my stuff from. Um, Ex-Special Forces, and there's not much he doesn't know about um, the darker side of um, survival. So to have that wealth of experience, um, definitely, definitely on my team. So that's my free, free and free. So it's a wicked tag, and I, I just love tags like this. Uh, I don't usually respond to tags because you get so many of them, and a lot of them seem the same, like three favourite knives or whatever. But this thing in combination is great. It really hit the spot for me. So um, the three guys I'm going to tag are on the screen now. And that's it, wicked choices. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys. It's gonna be cool and spread the word. The tag's gonna rule. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Scott. What a guy. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky.